Right, so a bit of a different video, but could you or should you use an air pistol as a self-defense weapon? Now, to be honest, I see, especially on prepper groups, loads and loads of um, comments regarding in the UK about using air guns, kind of similar thing to this, a so brake barrel air gun as a self-defense weapon. Now, first of all, I'd recently seen a video. You might have seen it yourself, it's trending a bit. And I think the video is called Man Films Himself Getting Shot in the Face. So there's this two blokes having an argument. One has got a similar air pistol to this. It's a brake barrel spring air pistol, right? And he's pointing it in the bloke's face. They're arguing and the bloke says, go on and shoot me. So the bloke with a gun does shoot him straight in the face from very close range with an air pistol. That did make a hole and it did penetrate and blood was pouring out of his face. But the bloke still stood there and was stood there well enough to carry on talking, talking to the camera and even walk over to a car and say, can you take me to hospital, please? And even well enough to carry on talking into the phone. So, it kind of didn't stop him in his tracks at all, to be honest. If he was the kind of, the fighting kind of bloke, which he didn't seem too much like he was, but if he was the fighting kind of bloke, once he'd been shot in the face with that air pistol from very close range, he could have attacked back. Definitely. He was still in a state where he could have easily fought that bloke with the gun. Like I said, it did penetrate his face. A lot of blood come out. But he was still well enough to stand there talking. So if he'd have been the fighting kind, he would have been well enough to fight back from that. Um, and also the thing is, the air pistol had one shot and that was it. So he could have fought back and the other bloke then would have been unarmed or would have only had, you know, something to bludgeon with, maybe, if he'd have thought of that. So I also saw another video about a shopkeeper being shot in the face with, I think it was a CO2 pellet gun. And, two blo and this is in the UK again, two blokes come in and just instantly... I think, instantly just shot the bloke in the face. And he actually did get shot in the eye. But he still managed to fight back. I think they said that he had to go to hospital and he was, you know, his eye was badly damaged. But in that moment, he could still fight back even whilst being shot in the face and in the eye with an air gun. So the main problem really is no air gun in the UK is really going to be powerful enough to do much damage at all. And the ones which are a bit more powerful are normally only single shot. You can get these really weak powered kind of CO2 pistols which fire you know, 8 pellets but they're very weak. And you can get some brake barrel or single stroke pneumatic or pump up pneumatic which are the legal limit for England which is six foot pound but they only fire a single shot so even if you did get a shot on someone you've either got to cock the gun reload it pump it up again or whatever I only got one shot so I just really don't think it's worth using something like a UK legal air pistol for self-defense not at all you know to be honest if you're going to use something like this you might as well use it as a bludgeon you know hit someone with it which is no point really you know in my opinion maybe in different countries where you can get you know I've seen a video with an American air pistol what was shooting 35 foot pounds he reckoned it was 
that's a completely different story. But in the UK, you're not going to get nothing like that at all. <coughs> Ours, you know, at the very most, six foot pound, which, you know, it'll probably break the break your skin, make people bleed. But if you're the fighting kind and you're really going to give it some, I think you could still go for it even after being shot in the face with an air gun. I've, you know, like I said, I've seen two different videos of people being shot very close range in the face with an air gun and they either fought back or just stood there talking. So they don't do enough damage to bother with, in my opinion. If you're going to use anything in the UK for self-defense, you definitely want something different than a spring, CO2, whatever, air pistol. In my opinion, it's just not worth it. Even for the one shot you did get, no point doing it. Right, so if anyone's got any questions or any info they want to give me, you know, let me know in the comments. If you like these kind of videos, then subscribe. Cheers for watching. I'll see you later.